and we could, you know, you're going to make it after all. You're going to experience the love that you are after all. You know, it's it's inevitable. It's wonderful to think about love as inevitable, and and then you start to say, why would I waste my opportunities? Why would I hold back? giving and extending. I mean, Frances was sharing her, some of her shifts from going from kind of all that education and then the, the business and so forth to a shift of wanting to give. And uh, in A Course in Miracles, early on in the text, there's the three lessons of the Holy Spirit and amazing lessons. In fact, it's amazing to think that, well, this is what I could focus my life on, the three lessons of the Holy Spirit. The first one reverses all the, the thinking and the, the beliefs of the world. The first one is to have, give all to all. That's something we never heard at the dinner table. <laughs> to have, give all to all. And I would say it's not necessarily talking about physical possessions and money and everything, but it's talking about your your love, your joy, your happiness. Give all to all. Give it away. Extend it. Because by extending it, you strengthen it in awareness. You know, that ideas are strengthened as they're given away. And, and that's why to have, give all to all, totally contradicts the teachings of the world. Because to the world, the world is a belief in scarcity, so the world would say, no, that's not the way. Because if, when you give something, you, you divide its ownership. If you have a million dollars and you give half of it even to somebody, you have half a million dollars. The world would say, as you give, you have less. There's only so much to go around. It's a world of scarcity and what you, what you give, you no longer have anymore. But with miracles, the more you extend the miracles, the more you're aware of miracles. It's like they do seem to multiply in awareness. You actually are more aware of the abundance of, of love by giving it away. The total opposite of what the world teaches. And then the second lesson of the Holy Spirit is to have peace, teach peace to learn it. So you're going to want to use every single situation that arises in your earth life to give over to the Holy Spirit, to teach peace to learn it. And the only time we're not peaceful is when we've got some kind of investment in an outcome. If we feel like something, somebody's trying to take something from us or, or something we deserve something from somebody or something to do with lack. Again, we're back to that lack and scarcity and possession. The possession goes in the opposite direction of to have peace, teach peace to learn it. And then finally, the third lesson, once you're kind of headed in this right direction, the third lesson is be vigilant only for God and His kingdom that in the end, once we start to get into the momentum of choosing peace and extending, to giving all to all, we start to realize, wow, this is fantastic. What would happen if this was all I knew, if it was the only mode of living that I knew? And that's where the vigilance comes in, to be vigilant, to really focus your mind's energy on, on the first two so that you transfer it, and you transfer it, and you transfer it, and you cross the threshold, and suddenly there's no more ego. You've just given and given and given, and extended and extended, and been vigilant so much that you've had a total transformation of consciousness, and you're back in the Kingdom of Heaven, as the Kingdom of Heaven. Some of you know there's a saying in the Bible where Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's a beautiful passage from the Bible. But he changes it in the Course in Miracles. He actually says, the word within is actually unnecessary. The kingdom of heaven is you. He even takes the within part out. He's saying, who you are, 
your very being is so glorious, it's beyond anything you could ever imagine. It's so, so glorious. The kingdom of heaven is you. It's not a place. It's literally a state of mind. And it's a spiritual kingdom. That's what he kept trying to tell the apostles 2,000 years ago. They were sons of thunder and they wanted to, they thought it was going to be an earthly kingdom and they were going to have positions. And he said, no, no, no. It's nothing like that. It's a state of mind kingdom. And it is you. It's like our very identity. And all we have to do is expose and let go of all these other beliefs that we've interposed in our awareness to cover that over, cover that over awareness. So it's really good news. They always said the Gospels are the good news. This is really, truly the good news. But it's not the good news that requires a cost or penance, punishment. You know. God doesn't know of these concepts.